Cassin TV. Hey everybody, Cassin TV here, and we are at Gorilla Recording in Oakland for Mastering with Miles. You know, in, in general, I like to talk about mastering as, as being an analogous to creating an, an art exhibit where you have, you know, a number of different uh, pieces of work. Let's talk about paintings. You have a number of different paintings. Maybe they're all by the same painter and they're a similar size. Maybe they're by different painters. And so what you have to do is to figure out a way to display each of those works in a good light. I mean, you know, literally light in a gallery situation. Put them at a height where, you know, most people can can see them. I mean, there's a lot of good analogies for it, but just to find a way to, to highlight each work and also to create something uh, out of the sum of the parts that, you know, as they say, is, is greater than the individual pieces. You know, it's about making each mix sound good. Uh, Fixing any any mistakes, doing any edits that you want to do, um, doing a you know maybe a fade out on a song that goes too long, um, putting an appropriate amount of spacing in between the songs, and uh, you know dub just double checking for any anything that might give you trouble out in the real world where people are listening on earbuds, laptops, right. car stereos. You know, really crappy stuff all the way up to, you know, very fancy audio right, file end, right. system. So, <laughs> right. uh, I like the richness of it and the fullness of it is, is what I'm into. You know, there's the other thing is, you know, that's, that's the most, uh, let's say, conventionally musical track right. on the album. So, that's a good <laughs> place to start with, you know, as sure. far as getting an overall feel for it. Um, if, if that one sounds good, everything else is going to sound good around it. Yeah, my, my primary concern on this is just that, that bass drum, because it's pretty... I remember we, in the mix, we really tried to, to get it shaped up a little bit, and it's right. a little boomy and loud sounding to me. Right. <laughs> And you know, I think and these days, when a lot of people are recording at home, mastering is really important. Right. Because oftentimes, I find in my work um, that I'm also doing a kind of mentoring for people that are recording at home, and saying, okay, you know, you have these mixes, which all, you know, they sound okay, but let's say there's too much reverb or too much bass, or you use too much compression or not enough compression, mm -hmm. and so a lot of times the the first meeting with a mastering client might be to say you know you really could you could go back home and change these one or two things and really come back with some better mixes and right. that's what i recommend that you should do right and if they do a good job then it's like okay great you know we'll, we'll take your mixes from here up to here right hopefully <laughs> Another thing that I wanted to add that, that I think is uh, really applies to the modern age is that a, another important consideration of mastering is what is going to be the delivery format. Because these days you have people putting in cassettes, vinyl, CDs, uh, and doing downloads. For vinyl, there's certain things you need to do for a cassette, etc., etc. So you have to to know how to address all those different mediums, and also you know consider that in the 
in the mastering job that you do. You know, typically for me, people would be putting out CD and vinyl, or maybe maybe vinyl and download. So there's certain things that you have to address. <laughs> For more information on Miles E. Boysen's Super Genius, please visit his website. Thanks for watching. Check out more at www.catsynth.com and please subscribe to CatSynth TV. You're watching CatSynth TV.